Pika. Boo. Pika boo. Pika. Pika. Hello guys and welcome to a new video, uh, one in which we want to talk about what we can do, what activities we can do Daddy. with a one-year-old. Hi Cleo! Hello! So, we're going to start with our piano. We have a um, baby Einstein piano that teaches children to play the piano by following colors. She's, well, she doesn't know all the colors yet. She's starting to understand matching colors with colors. So we're learning. Yeah, we are. First, we're learning what a piano does. Then we press the buttons and it plays. And then we're learning all the other things as well. Her five-year-old sister already knows how to play them. But she's been playing with this toy since she was three year old. Yeah. Very good. Now, these sheets of music, if you press this button here, they will play automatically. So keep on following us for more toys and ideas of activities we can do with a one year old.
Good job. Good job. Now it's my turn.
Good job.
Would you like to show Cleo how to cut with a knife? Cut with a knife. Hey, what are you doing to the broccoli? So, how to cut with a knife? See? Easy peasy. And you put it in the pot. See? You can also put it on here too. See? Oh. And then you use the spoon to mix it. Yeah. Put it on and turn it on. And then how do we make cookies? We make cookies here. First we mix some eggs. Look. Mix the egg. Mix the egg. Let's add some chocolate. Add some avocado and make cookies. And then we make avocado um. cookies. Yay! A giant spoon that can lift food.
What's inside? Peekaboo. What's inside? What's inside? Uh, what's inside? Peekaboo. Come back. It's magic. It's magic. It's magic, guys. Ooh. You're gonna show Cleo how to do this because she doesn't know it. We need to teach her how to do it. Okay. Cleo, look. The other way. Now you change the direction of this one from up here. That's it. That's how you do it, Cleo. Guys, do you know I used to play this? I used to play this when I was four. Wow, that's the engine. Yeah, that's the engine. The engine. Yeah. The other way? No. I may have done this with my hands. Hey. Cleo. What? to make it back. I know. But my sister took the wheel and the hey. screws. Yeah, the screws. So your sister took the screws. Mm? Hey, Cleo. The screws are supposed to be in here. So I'll do these. Show her how to do it. Look, she wants to put them in too. He wants yes. to help too. Everyone wants to do it. Pink. Number. Piano.
Peekaboo. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Horsey, 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 duck, quack, 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 look, quack, 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 Get down. Good job. Good job. And now get up. Come on. Up, up. Up, up. Chop the tomato and drop it in.
Shape sorting is still important. Children okay. can learn colors and shapes with the polar bear, Linkamo. Yeah. So we. Come on, friends, who's ready to play? Let's play. Where can it be? Where can it be? Orange triangle. Orange. Can you find it oval? Orange triangle. Oval. Crescent. <laughs> Crescent. So we're learning oval. shapes and colors with this amazing toy. Yeah. We are. Was Green this? oval. Rectangle. Blue rectangle. Triangle. She loves this polar bear. So does her sister and brother. So this is a toy that you can play starting six months. And our three-year-old and our five-year-old still enjoy playing with rectangle. this polar bear. And if you have other Lincolns as well, Where they will the link together and go? sing together. Yeah. Find the Pentagon. Yeah. So for one-year-olds, it's very important that we teach them. We can teach them shapes, colors, numbers, letters. I know it feels like they don't learn much, but that's because they can't speak as well. They will still remember things that they're learning from one-year-old on. Yeah. So... Everything that involves teaching them in a fun way by playing will stay there for when they speak better. And vocabulary is always useful to keep practicing. So she's learning now how to match them, to sort the toys, to sort the shapes, and how to match colors as well, which is very useful. Yeah. Um, we're also teaching her how to get up on the sofa and climb down from the sofa safely. And she loves climbing the stairs as well. We're trying to teach her to climb them safely and get down <laughs> safely. Of course, we have baby gates, so she won't climb on her own. But she's, because she's crawling, already showing interest in climbing the stairs. So we thought it's important that she learns to do it safely rather than let her curiosity get the best of her and have an accident yeah where does the green oval go where does the green oval go here look green oval see where can it where's the shape that has one side that goes around and around it doesn't go there it's green so we're learning yes it's a learning process also, this is the age where they start understanding better how to play. So, it's very useful to do all sorts of role-playing games, right, baby? We're doing role-playing games, which means we have a dollhouse we play with. Of course, toys have to be age-appropriate. If they're too little and they put them in their mouth, they're choking hazard. So we have age-appropriate toy house with age-appropriate toys. We also have a set of baby nursery, which they can play with. All three of them, because there's three babies in the set. I find that this is one of the most useful toys, because I have three kids, and they all play together taking care of babies. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Say hello. So when we play farm, what do we do? We plant some carrots in the garden. Look, we have little carrots. Up, nom 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 nom. We have big carrots and little carrots. Nom 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 nom. 
Nom, nom, nom. So this is the nursery we were talking about. We have three babies. We have a rocker. We have two baby girls and a boy, just like we do in our house. There's a boy. There's two girls and a spoon to feed them. And we take care of them. We learn how to take care of babies. Yes. So much fun because it has several stages. You turn it on and you have music. You put them to sleep. Their beds rock as well. They learn so many important things, like how to take care of another. Yeah. And obviously, on the back side, when you, they go outside, there's a little playground. There's the milk bottle. There's so many things they can do with it. And all my three children, so I'm saying this again, one, three, and five-year-old, they're all playing together, sharing. And each one of them has one baby to take care of. Yes, good job! Okay, so in the end of this video, all I'm trying to say is important, uh, important things are learn through play. They learn through play, so they have to play in a fun way in which their toys are teaching them how to do certain things, like skills, like uh, screwing a lid on or um, stacking toys or... Or role play. Role play teaches them day-to-day uh, -day things. We have fireman and a fire engine. We have fireman outfits. My children love to play pretending they're firemen. Um, they're day-to-day -day things that are very useful for them to understand. And um, it's learning through fun. Also, books are very important. They like to have books they play with. We always have books. We also have books like this, which we read, Bug in a Rug. And some of them actually read themselves, but my children like it when I read it to them. My five-year-old likes to read to the younger ones. So always read to them. Around a year and a half, like 18 months, up to two years, they can even start to color with age-appropriate color things, uh, color um items that you can buy their crayons that are age appropriate because their hands are tiny they need bigger sizes um we had egg shaped ones which were very useful in the beginning and then we moved up to regular colors yeah what's baby doing what's your baby doing yeah talking to them a lot that teaches them to talk as well Smiling to them a lot. They always check our faces for facial expressions. They learn through seeing. Also, when you're teaching them to eat, yeah, eating with them at the table because they follow what you do. So if you eat in a certain way, they'll learn how to eat. They use how they use spoons and everything by following your lead. They look at you the first time, the second time, and then they start copying you. Yeah. Yeah, and um, well, when you have more than one child, it's really nice because they can copy what the older brother or sister is doing. So it's good to have your child play in a group of other children as well. If you don't have siblings, you can go to play groups, to baby clubs, and so on. So I want to thank you very much for following us today. Thank you so, so much. I hope you follow, click like and subscribe for more content like this and for more ideas of what you can do with your children, especially since there are uh, times when they're sick and they're staying at home and uh, you don't know what to do to keep them busy. Just click like and subscribe and you'll see more content like that.